So now we're gonna um, work on this area right here. And um, I, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but somebody you know, had a bad color match previously, so this doesn't match right here. The sheen is right on, but the color's off. We do have these wall anchors. I already punched one in, um, and then I started punching them in. I'm like, wow, I should actually you know, give you some tips on this. I'm gonna show you how I go about you know, punching these in. We've got some imperfections I can quickly you know, get rid of on the wall. This is why I always carry a Lenbide scraper. I can scrape these things off real simply knock that down and now we can touch that up and it eliminates you know those little spots those things will just drive me crazy you know if i don't get rid of them you can easily get rid of them and touch it off so these are scraped down here's one right here where somebody filled a hole right there but the wall anchors you can see there's a wall anchor sometimes you could get a screwdriver in there and unscrew them sometimes they're just the press in ones but i'll take a screwdriver like a phillips head screwdriver punch them if you punch them in the wall now you can fill it up you can actually hammer them in the wall so i can just bang it in but it, that'll leave a bigger indentation the back of a five and one tool the hammer tool a lot of times i'll just hit it with a hammer knock it in um, and you know get rid of it that way but it's going to leave a bigger indentation to leave a small indentation i'm just going to hammer that thing in the wall now it's you know inside the wall i don't want to hammer it all the way in because i have some backing for my spackle this one hammered a little bit too hard and so it fell in so there's no backing for the spackle but after you hammer them in you're going to have what we call like a volcano on the outside we're going to scrape the volcano and then we're going to fill it so let's scrape that and then we're going to touch this up right here now i'm just going to use a flexible spackle knife just get a little bit of spackle and this is what i'm talking about you don't want to like big use a big swipe across your wall well i see a lot of people do um homeowners do it yourself or they'll do this and just leave that now to um paint over and you're going to have a big flat spot what i want to do is just just enough to fill the hole now i'm just going to wipe off the excess around the edges just like this if i mess it up i can flatten it back out and if the hole is too big, you can do some spray texture over it. That's going to be just fine. I'm going to wipe off the excess, get rid of it around my texture, because that actually fills in the texture. Now I'm going to scrape it one more time, wipe off the excess. I like wearing gloves because I like my hands clean, but you can take your gloves off and wipe it with your bare hand have a little more success now what i don't want to do is i don't want to attempt to touch that up now because it's going to be wet and i would mess up my spackle but i'm going to let that dry but i'll show you what the touch-ups would look like so i'm going to make it a little bit heavy so i fill in the um the edges around that daub it over just enough to fill my spot up right there that's filled in we scraped over here Fill that up, I scraped up here. But this whole area right here where somebody has done a bad color match, I'm going to daub and dry feather it out. I'm gonna put my paint in the center and dry feather it out, just like this. Dry feather the edges out so I don't have a heavy line in the middle. I'm not going to, right now, I'm just trying to show you in the video uh, because we're not waiting for this to dry right now. I don't want to text because I'll, I'll push it right in, but I'm just showing you what it's going to look like. I would actually sand that slightly before I do the touch-ups. But that bad color match comes all the way down here. And here I scrape there so it has kind of a hard edge. Put a little heavy dot of paint right there. And then I'll just dry feather it out. I'll work on this when that dries, but this is what it's gonna look like. We dry feathering it out. Now, when this all dries, I just wanna tell you, you know, one pointer, this is going to be shiny, you know, that same day. What happens is it does take time for your sheen to tone down. It takes the paint 
30 days to cure. So you have to give the, sh the paint time for the sheen to tone down and it'll eventually mat. So that could take up to seven days, you know, to get this to tone down or even up to 30 days. So you want to make sure you're not doing these touch-ups, you know, the day of, you know, the house being listed or, you know, um, it being shown. So if you want it to hide the best you can, give it time. It's going to tone down over time, especially over a 30-day period.